Hey there. Okay, that's basically impossible. But you know, in Affinity Photo, everything is possible. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can balance basically anything on just one finger. Even this bamboo thing. Are you ready? I definitely am. Let's roll. All right, so here we are in Affinity Photo and today I shot two pictures and I'm gonna use one extra picture to create this fun photo manipulation where you can balance anything on one finger. This is the first image that I shot. So this is just some simple, yeah, picture of myself holding up my finger. Then I've got my camera right here and then I've got this nice background. And first I want to start with the background. So I'm gonna copy this background and I'm gonna paste it into our document. I'm gonna zoom out just a bit. And what I want to do is position it, I think something like this. And what I want to do is, um, yeah, get rid of this, uh, these paintings in the back just because they will be in the way. So I'm going to create a new pixel layer and I'm going to use the patch tool for this. And I'm going to set it to current layer and below from the drop down menu. And what I want to do now is basically just click and drag around our um, painting, let's say, and just patch in some new parts. So let's say this part looks fine and just double click. And I'm gonna do this for all paintings. And this looks about fine to me. Maybe this little part here. There we go. Now, this was the before and this is the after and this will work just fine. Now, the next thing that I want to do is drag in our image. But first, of course, I got to make a selection out of it. So for this case, I use the pen tool, but I don't want to show you how the pen tool works. So I already did that beforehand. And I'm simply going to copy and paste this image into our document. So copy by pressing command C and command V to paste. That's image number one. Then we go to the camera image. And of course I did the same already. So I masked out the camera um, out beforehand using the quick selection brush and the mask. And I'm gonna copy this one and paste it right in here. Now, as you can see, I left my mic on just because I love filming as well. So uh, I left my mic on, but you can see that once I balance it on my finger right now that the mic is definitely um, yeah, in front of my face, which is something I don't want. So what I decided to do is um, to flip my image around. So I'm gonna uh, select the Rens layer, right click and then transform and flip horizontal. And now you will see that the text on my t-shirt is actually flipped, but I'd rather have that flipped than the text on my camera. So let's position myself uh, in a way that, yeah, kind of works. This looks pretty fine. And now let's position the camera as well. And yeah, I'm just gonna resize it a bit and balance it on my finger. Something like, this looks about fine. Now I want to turn it a little bit because now it's obviously out of balance because the weight um, is more towards my microphone. So I'm gonna do this by using the transform origin. I'm gonna put the transform origin right around here. And now when I turn it, you can see that it turns around this new point, let's say. So now I can just turn it around and balance it out just like I want. So something like this. So let's um, disable the transform origin and there we go. Now, next thing, um, let's blur the background because that's gonna look way better. So I'm gonna select my, um, this is the background. So I'm gonna group them together. Press command G and let's call this one background. This by the way is the correction that we just did, the patch correction. And I want to apply a lens blur to my background. So I'm gonna go into my live filters, select lens blur and I'm gonna increase the radius a whole lot. Something like 20 pixels looks fine. And what you see now is that we get this weird white edge around our image and we can fix this by checking preserve alpha. So once we check this, you can see that the white edge um, yeah, is gone. There's one thing that I want to fix and that is that my finger or my hand is actually out of focus, but I use the pen tool to make a selection. So it actually looks like the edge 
uh, the edge is a little bit too sharp. And also I see that the camera is floating above my finger. But you can see that my face is in focus and my hand is out of focus and then the camera is in focus once again. So this doesn't really work like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blur out the camera just slightly. So I'm gonna select my camera layer and I'm gonna create a Gaussian blur and just blur it slightly so that it matches the blur on my finger let's say so it's probably going to be around one pixel and also i want to blur the edge of this mask right over here now you can see that i used a, a pen tool for this so we get a very very sharp edge when using the pen tool but the great thing is that we can also apply live filters to our curve layer so i'm going to go into the live filters, select Gaussian blur and clip this Gaussian blur to our curve um, filter. I'm going to increase the radius just a bit and now you can see that we get this nice blurry edge around our finger. The problem is we get this everywhere so we basically just blurred out everything and this is something we don't really want. I just want to blur out um, the edge of my finger let's say. I'm going to cross this thing off and I'm going to press command I to invert my layer mask. So now we can paint back with white the um, blurred edge, let's say. So I'm just going to cover the edge with a 100% opacity and flow. And you can see that we can get this really nice blurred edge. And we're only going to do this on the edge because otherwise we blur our finger even more. And that's something we don't really want. So there we go. Now, of course, what I just mentioned is that the camera is actually floating above my finger. So I'm going to select the camera and drag it down just slightly. And actually, I want it to be below my hand because now you can see it's overlapping my finger. But I think this would look more realistic if it would be um, underneath my finger. And I also want to add a slight shadow to my finger. Now, I think the camera can use some levels adjustment layer to yeah, make it stand out a little more. So I'm going to... Um, brighten it up just slightly like this and I also want to darken the bo bottom part of this image a bit so I'm gonna go into my adjustment layers create an exposure adjustment layer darken it a whole lot and invert the layer mask by pressing command I and now with this very soft round brush I can just darken the bottom part of this image just a bit so that we get the focus on the camera and not on yeah other stuff let's say now let's add some nice light effect on the top right and on the top left so you can see that we got some nice blue light coming from the left and some more orangey light from the right so let's actually enhance that a little bit yeah i'm gonna create a new pixel layer and i'm gonna select some nice orange color so i'm gonna color pick this color and just brighten it up like so and I'm gonna click once here and I'm gonna change the blend mode to overlay. So this is the before and this is the after. And on the other side, I'm gonna do the same. Now this of, of course is gonna be behind me. So I'm gonna um, create a new pixel layer. I'm gonna color pick any blue color from here. Of course, I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit like so. And I'm gonna click once in this corner and I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay as well. And now we want to add some of the light to our subject and to the camera. So now I'm going to create two fill layers. One is going to be blue. So I'm going to go to my uh, layers and then click on new fill layer, change the blend mode to screen. And I'm going to create another one. And that one is going to be orangey. Let's say this color and create black masks for both of them and now we can paint back the effect so i'm gonna grab a soft round brush and yeah i'm gonna paint on myself so what i can do is use this selection so i'm gonna command click on uh, my layer mask let's say and i'm just gonna brush in some highlights um yeah on myself so that it actually looks that i'm yeah, that I belong to the scene, let's say. Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. So let's see the before and the after. Looks pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit to the camera as well. So I'm gonna command click and select the, uh, the mask of the camera and just add some very slight orangey color to the side of the camera. 
and we're gonna do the same for the blue so i'm gonna go into my blue uh, layer and yeah just brush in some blue tones to our subject so i'm gonna command click on my mask once again to paint in some blue on myself a bit on my nose and on my shirt of course and on my finger as well so let's see the before whoops before and after and let's see how this looks if we put the blend mode to normal that actually looks pretty nice so let's keep the blend mode to normal and yeah maybe brighten up our color just a bit so i'm gonna go back into my gradient tool and add a bit more saturation and a bit more um, lightness let's say all right now i'm gonna do the same for the camera so i'm gonna hold command and uh, click on the mask of the camera and yeah i'm just gonna add some nice blue tones to the camera as well to give this more yeah a fun effect let's say 